Hello YouTube and welcome to another text loss video. It's time for another video about my favorite iPhone dock. It's an old Kickstarter project from Elevation Lab and the thing is called Elevation Dock. It's an old Kickstarter uh, project and it started as an old 30 pin connector dock here. Later Elevation Dock brought out uh, a, a, an upgrade kit so that you could exchange the cable and so it would fit your iPhone 5 and your iPhone 5S. And I really like the design of the solid piece of aluminium. It just looks great on your desk. And uh, even with the iPhone 5 and 5S, you can still use the home button. And it just, it really looks like as it would be made for the iPad, as uh, the iPhone. Uh, but it still, it's heavy, but it's still got one disadvantage. It's still too light for the iPhone that you can just slide it out with just one hand uh, without needing the other to hold down the dock. So this is this exactly the same problem as you have with this cheap plastic docks. But now Elevation Lab brought another upgrade kit and this addresses ex the exact same problem. So you can buy this little envelope, I guess it's about five euros, not even, uh, I guess, without uh, shipping or even including shipping. So this is really, really, really cheap. And let's rip it up. And you can see it, it's also called PET and it's a nano PET. Uh, nanotechnology is getting uh, re common these days. So uh, Elevation Lab uh, invented the nano PET, or not really invented, it's just a nano surface that you put uh, glue, not really glue, but you just put it underneath the dock. There you can see the six step instruction. First of all, uh, pull it off. Okay, and there we go. Then next step, find out on which side of the elevation dock you have to put it. Um, there are holes in, in the nano pad so that you still can reach the screws. So this shouldn't be any problem. Um, so there you can see it. You can still uh, open up the elevation dock if you have to exchange your lightning cable. Uh, maybe you step over it or it gets damaged or whatever, or even maybe for the next generation of Apple connection docks. So there we go. Yes, definitely a little bit sticky here. And we put it on the dock. Yes, just make sure you can still get to the screws. Yeah, this should do the trick. Now rub it even and push it, push it real good so that it won't come off. But I am definitely certain this will hold on the elevation dock without any problems. I mean, they, <laughs> I guess they checked it a couple of times here. So, and now then when you are sure you have, uh, put it on correctly and it will fit and you have no bubbles of air underneath it, then step number three would be to peel the last uh, the nano protection thing off. So now you can uh, feel the nano surface. Uh, this is not sticky at all. This is just this nano particles there. This is really fine, thin nano thingies. And then you have to find an even uh, surface. And now that should do. And yes, there you can see it. This will stick to your desk or on your table or wherever. Then to get it off, no problem at all. You have to use a little bit of force, of course, but this works totally without any glue. So no problem there. The only thing you have to make sure is that you don't put it on any dirt or dust. So Keep your nano pad clean and this will work. And there you can see, I can now even pull my iPhone out of the dock with just two fingers. So this works really, really nice. So make sure your desk is clean, keep the nano pad clean, and then you should be have a great time with your nice looking elevation dock. And in my opinion, of course, this even should work with a cheap plastic uh, doc, if you prefer this, then just keep your eyes open for for nano uh, strap-ons for this one, or even make one so yourself. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.